Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back. I'm Jeannie and in today's video I'm going to be doing another charm box unboxing and then a Manny using some of the products included in the box. So today's Manny is going to be an all gel polish Manny. I'll be using some transfer foils to do some nail art as well as some rhinestones. So if you want to see the contents of the Valentine's Day charm box as well as how I create this Manny, stick around and we'll get into it. The charm box is quickly becoming one of my favorite subscriptions so I am a subscriber to the box and I love that it's only bi-monthly because I feel like monthly is a little too frequent so this makes it a little bit easier because there are a lot of really great products that you receive in the box but it's not so overwhelming that you're getting this every month. So at the time I'm recording this video this January Valentine's Day box is still available so I'll link it down below in the description in case you're interested in it and hopefully by the time this video is up it will still be available because this is one you don't want to miss. At the top of the box it does include a card that has inspo pics of looks you can create using the contents of the box and on the back my favorite part is it includes a description of everything that's included in case you're not sure and when I say you I mean me so feel free to take a screenshot if you want to read this in a little more detail so now let's go ahead and get into the contents of the box. The first things in the box are these two nail transfer foils and so there's a pink holographic foil as well as a pink iridescent foil. These are really fun and I'm going to end up using the holographic one for my set today to do a little nail art. If you haven't tried transfer foils they can be a little frustrating but they are really fun to use and I love the look that you get by using them. There's also a pack of Twinkle Twinkle rhinestones and these are so pretty. So they're pink and fuchsia AB round crystals and they're different sizes. So there's larger ones and there's smaller ones. And I always buy so many crystals and gems and I don't use them a lot because they snag. But I love sparkly things so these are so pretty. So I will be using them in today's set as well. Now stickers I do like to use often so there are these two packs so the first one may look familiar to you so these are the pearly dotted heart stickers so they're embossed stickers so they're 3D and they do have the little pearls on them and I love these stickers. I wish I would have realized that they came in the box and I would have held off on buying the stickers but I don't actually mind having a, a backup a sheet of these because these are so pretty. So I'll leave the link above in the cards of my Manny using these stickers because they are so gorgeous. And the next set of stickers are these gorgeous white iridescent roses. I mean, just look at the shift in them as I move these around. I'm really excited to use these. I don't use them in today's set, but these are really beautiful stickers. And you can see they are flat stickers, so they're not 3D or anything like that but they are that iridescent as you move them around, you see those color shifts happening. It wouldn't be the charm box without some charms, so there are a few packs in here. So the first pack is the Enchanted Rose Charm Mix, and these are just so cute, and they're really great for if you don't like really large gems. So these are a mixture of red roses and white roses, and they're really just elegant. And the next one is the lovely pink resin mix. So these are pink resin pieces. They are cabochons. Um, and I did have to Google one, how to pronounce that word, and two, what in the world it meant. So according to Google, they are shaped gemstones. Obviously, these aren't gemstones. These are resin pieces, but they're all different shapes. So I do want to pour it out so you can see all that's included because it's a really fun mix. So I poured them out into my Chaos Gemerald by Chaos Concepts. And so you can see all the little shapes here. So there's the snake, which I will not be using because I absolutely hate snakes. But there's hearts, there's a pair of lips, there's some flowers. So it's just a really great mixture of a little bit of everything and perfect for Valentine's Day. And a little hack for you that using your Chaos Gemerald for your gems is great because you can just pour your gems straight back into your container without worrying about spilling any. This is an assorted mix of resin bows, so they're all different colors. So we've got the red, white, pink, and purple. And as I'm unboxing this, I was thinking I should have waited to do my coquette nail set because this whole box would be perfect for that. 
But anyway, lastly is these resin bears and they are so cute. They remind me of gummy bears, which by the way are my favorite candy ever. So they're assorted colors of bears and I am excited to use these. Each box comes with some bonus items. So the first bonus item is just this little piece of heart candy. I hadn't tried it yet because it was too pretty to open. And the next bonus item is this pink heart keychain. So this is made out of vegan materials. For me, I don't really use keychains because I like to keep my key ring as small as possible. So I'll probably use it maybe decoration in my nail room or something because this is super cute. And then this is a new item to the Daily Charm website. This is a micro ink pen. This is in red. I believe it's kind of like an acrylic pen. I don't think it's a gel where you have to cure it, but I should have checked the contents of the box because I actually bought the whole set before realizing it was in the box. So I do have a lot of duplicates from like the pearl stickers to this pen and even one of the gel colors I have. So I should be a little more careful. Anyway, this I'm really excited about. So this is a heart studs box. So it's got little heart studs in it. They're metallic black, red, and pink. And they are just so cute and so dainty. So I'm really looking forward to using these because I feel like they're not going to get snagged on things like a gem would. I mean, obviously it's still texture, but they are really cute. And I like that they're metallic. And then this is really interesting because this is a box of heart-shaped lint-free wipes. And yes, I was struggling to get this open. I actually had to look at it to see if there was a seal, but apparently I'm just weak. So these are in the pink color and they're really great for just, you know, wiping off your nail, getting any dust or debris off. But I think they're really cute because they're the heart shape. Uh, it doesn't say the count, but it does seem like there are a lot of wipes in here. So maybe like I would guess 500, 100. I don't know. I'm bad with numbers. <laughs> So this is the last bonus item. This is a DC X Girls Crew collab ring. So there was a little card at the top of the box. I wasn't sure where it went to, but now I'm figuring out that that's what this card is for. So this is telling you, you know, when to take off the ring, when not to wear it. But this ring is adorable. So it's in a yellow gold color. It's got like the pink heart charms on it. And it's adjustable too. I like having adjustable rings because I can wear them on different fingers as well as I have uh, skinnier fingers. So a lot of rings that are standard sizing are too large for me. So I like that I can adjust it to fit wherever I want it to fit. So this is super adorable and I do wear it throughout the video because I think it's really comfy and it's a great quality ring. There were also these two little pots in the box, so just opening them up. I'm not going to open up the actual pots because I don't want to make a mess, but the first one is pink velvet flocking powder, and I have not been brave enough to try flocking powder yet. I know a year or two ago it was a big thing. I just don't know how I feel about fuzzy nails, so they're a little furry, and you kind of apply them like you would a sugar, so your gel top coat and then pour that on and then cure it but I I don't know I don't know we'll see it's a texture thing for me I think and then this other pot is a pot of loose glitters so it's iridescent hex glitters and heart glitters I don't use loose glitters often because most glitters I use are incorporated in my dip powder already but we'll see I need to find more ways to incorporate loose glitters into my manis because I have a lot now and then of course, lastly, there are two gels that come in this box. So the first one is Charm Gel H90 Feel Cute. So this is a pastel pink jelly with rainbow sparkles. I feel like I can't really sp capture the sparkles well in this video, but trust me when I say it is beautiful. And I use it for the Manny so you can see it in action, but I feel like you need to see it in person to really appreciate it. And this is actually a duplicate as well because at the beginning of January, they released a whole line of these gels and I just thought they were so pretty because they were neutral with those glitters. So I actually bought the whole set. So anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna use it in today's video and then I'll figure out what I want to do with the duplicate later. And then the last gel is H81. This is Charmed. So it is a hollow rosy pink glitter. And same thing, it's really hard to capture the sparkles. I think this one was a little 
better at seeing the sparkles. But of course, I'm going to use it in today's Manny as well because this one is just so pretty. I just love this kind of shade of pink. That was a lot, but these boxes are seriously jam-packed. If you like gels and nail art things, these boxes are a great way to build up your collection, and I have not been disappointed yet. Now jumping into the Manny, I always start a gel polish Manny with a layer of gel base first. This always ensures that my gel polish goes on smoother and more even. So I've got the Daily Charm rubber base coat. So I'm applying a thin even layer to my entire nail and for rubber base, you do cure it for a full 60 seconds. So I'm gonna do that to all my nails before we get into my colors. I'm going to be starting with the gel H90 Feel Cute, which is included in the box, but it's also part of the new release collection at the beginning of January. It's the Hello Jelly collection. And honestly, when I saw the collection was first released, I got super excited because I just thought they were so gorgeous. So I freaked out, bought the collection, not realizing that one of the colors would be included in the box. You would have thought I would have learned my lesson because this happened to me a box or two ago where I bought a new release and one of the items was in the box. So I need to learn to not get too overexcited for a new release, wait till I get the box and then buy the other stuff that I want that's not included in the box because now I have duplicates. I mean, you know, I'm happy with the stickers. I will definitely use the stickers, but I think, you know, I won't use a whole bottle of gel polish, much less two of them. So I may start like a giveaway box of where I have duplicates or things that I won't use. And then once that box gets large enough, I'll probably try to do a giveaway on this channel. What do you think about that? Also, I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is super hoarse today. I was in the office in all day meetings with people yesterday and then had an event after work. So I talked all day long. So I think that's why my voice is hoarse. So I've been talking a lot trying to finish this voiceover. So I'm just gonna give my voice a rest, let you finish watching me do this Manny, and then I'll come back when it's time to do some nail art.
possible. Did my second layer of charmed off camera so now we're ready to get into some transfer foil nail art so i will be using this pink holographic foil that was included in the box and for using nail art transfer foils you do need a special foil glue or gel this is my foil gel from iGel beauty and i'm just going to place a little dot of it on my resin palette because i want to create a design with the gel instead of doing my whole nail I've got my gel liner brush and I'm just going to draw a heart on the center of my nail. Normally I use a dotting tool so I don't know why I didn't grab for one. So I'm just picking up a bead of that foil gel on my liner brush and I'm just drawing those dots and then once I have those two dots as kind of my base for the heart, I will draw downwards creating a triangle to start forming that heart. And then once I've got that, I'll start filling in with the foil gel. I want to make sure I have enough of that foil gel so that it creates kind of like a 3D heart look. And it's sort of hard because you can't really see it because it's a clear gel. So you just kind of have to have the right angle so you can see where you're putting that gel. And I really want to make sure that I'm taking my time. I've got an even layer of that foil gel and I also want to make sure that I'm not missing any spots. Anywhere there's not foil gel, the foil will not stick to it. So I want to be really careful to make sure that everything is filled in. So I'm going to give my nail a full cure for 60 seconds and then once I pull it out of the lamp, the key to using transfer foils is you do not want to apply the foils right away. You want your gel to cool down first and I let it cool down for a good one to two minutes before I attempt to apply my transfer foil. So while I'm waiting for my nail to cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and get my foil ready. So this is a really long sheet that comes in the box, but I only need a really small piece of it because I'm just gonna do that little heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it, find the end of it, and just cut off a little piece using my scissors because I don't wanna deal with like the whole sheet while I'm just trying to do a little heart. 
So there are two sides for a transfer foil. So there's the design side and the back side of it. For this one, it's easy to tell because the design side is the pink and the back side is the silver. It's a little harder to tell with the clear transfer foils, but you always want to make sure that the design is facing up when you're using the transfer foils. So now that my foil gel has cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and place my foil on the gel and I'm going to lightly press down and then I'm going to start rubbing. The key to transfer foils as well is make sure you rub it in really well. And I would say just when you think you're done, make sure you rub it again just to make extra sure. If you don't like using your fingers to rub it in, those little silicone tools are also really great at getting those foils rubbed in really well. Once you're done, don't rip it off. Just make sure you're slowly pulling it away. And if you find you miss a spot, just press the foil back down and rub again. So one thing I did notice is because I didn't wipe off the tacky layer of my gel before I did this, I did get a little bit of mess of the foil. So I'm just taking my cleanup brush and a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and it was super easy to clean up. So if I were to do this again, I would remove the tacky layer of my gel polish first and then I would apply my foil gel and apply my foils. But, you know, luckily it worked out that it was easy to clean up. For my ring finger, I'm going to do a little bit of an angled French tip. I don't even know if you can call it a French tip, but I'm just gonna take Feel Cute because I love the way it looks against Charmed. And I'm just gonna use the brush and I'm gonna angle my line from my sidewall to my free edge. So you can see it's kind of that angled look rather than a traditional French tip. And then I'm just gonna clean up the line just a little bit using my liner brush, but I'm not really concerned if it's super straight or not, or else I probably would have started with my liner brush. But because I'm gonna line that with those Twinkle Twinkle gems, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but it doesn't matter if it's not completely straight because you're not really going to see it. So once I've got that down, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. I'm going to be using my iGel Beauty Jewelry Gel for placement of my Twinkle Twinkle Gems and you've probably heard me say this before and I'll keep saying it, this stuff I swear by, my gems never fall off when I use this jewelry gel. It is a very thick gel so I generally don't use like a line art brush for it. I like to use my dotting tool so I pick up some of that gel, make sure I don't have any stringy mess and then I will line that line where I want the gems to be and I'll pick up a little more if needed but a little bit goes a long way. And instead of trying to have to top coat around my gems because it can be a total pain depending on the size of the gems, I like to go ahead and top coat my nails. Not only do I not have to worry about painting around the gems, it also makes the jewelry gel even stronger. So the gel is uncured, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat on top of that before I place my gems.
I went ahead and gave that a flash cure just for 15 seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Diamond Shine Gel Top Coat. This is from Daily Charm to top coat the rest of my nails. So I'm going ahead and capping my free edge first. I always like to start with that when I'm doing my gel manis. And then I will apply top coat to all my nails except my ring finger because that's done. And then I will give them a cure in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. And as always, I'm going to finish off my mani by rehydrating my cuticles with my Scales of Mermaid Cuticle Oil. This is in the scent Dearest Lover, which was a limited edition scent, I believe a month or two ago. And this was such a good one. And don't forget, I am an ambassador for Scales of a Mermaid, so you can always use my code GENIE10 to save 10% off your orders at any time. Any discount codes that I have will always be in the description and linked in my link tree in the description as well. So that pretty much wraps up this Manny. I'm telling you, this Daily Charm Charm Box never disappoints. I am so happy with it. It's really gotten me excited about gels again. So I'm curious if you subscribe how you feel about the Charm Box. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this. And it also helps YouTube recommend me to others, which helps grow my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.